Hey everyone, Midnight Nova here, and today we're going to continue playing Valheim. So in this episode, we are going to go straight to the infested tower that we saw yesterday. And we are going to get, hopefully, four more black cores in there. Because we got six from two separate uh, infested mines previously. And that allowed us to build the black forge. However, in order to uh, make the the sap refiner refinery, uh, we need five black cores for that, and that's we need to refine our our sap in order to make the new armor and weapons and all that stuff. So right there is where we found it. We cleared out the outside of it, of uh, Seekers. So, hopefully they haven't returned or anything like that. But inside is an entire... Whoop, I guess not. <laughs> I guess they come back. Inside of that uh, uh, infested mine should be an entire untapped dungeon for us to explore and hopefully clear out oh hey surprise attack seeker hello I didn't see you there get dead thank you <laughs> now for the rest of them see this is what I was looking for in the last episode this downstairs here We're just gonna pop right in here and get started. We got our bone mass uh, buff ready, but we're not gonna use it yet. Also, like usual, we're going to be making a campfire, extra piece of wood. Definitely will help. We can get rested again if we need to. Um, but it also is good for just recovering stamina if we have to run back to the beginning. Um, I don't see any stickers that are just out and about. I don't want any of them to sneak up on me from downstairs if I start going up here, for example. Hmm. Nobody in the entrance. Uh, anybody down there? We got a few down there. Let's um oops, make sure our frost arrows are enabled. And see if we can shoot him. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's anything down there worth getting, but I don't want them to fly up. Because they will. If they have enough reason to do so, they'll fly straight up here and attack me from behind. And that's how you die in these situations. Is if, if you get overwhelmed or if you get get your enemies to sneak up behind you. Okay, any... Nope. Sometimes there is a passageway down these stairs that leads to like a, a different corridor, which might be a treasure room. It... I haven't seen one lately, but sometimes there's a big expanse downstairs. Mmm, you gonna turn around, dude? Turn around. And death! Yeah! The wind-up attack with the Frostner is still very good against these guys. They are vulnerable to cold. Uh, any secret walls? Nope. That led to nothing. Secret wall? No. 
And about this. Thing. Oh, secret wall. Yes. Secret wall, no. Secret wall, yes. Oh, multiples, eh? Multiples, eh? And I attacked the wall? No. Okay, running, 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 running. Uh oh. Yep, right, yep, yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not like this. Not like this. No, 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 no. Okay. Ha ha ha. I don't think so. Not today. Not today. Ho ho ho. Can I just shoot him? Shoot him. Ah ha 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 <laughs> Those ticks keep falling down. Uh, just get out of here, you. All of you. Uh, tick. Explode. <laughs> Not today. Okay. <laughs> Whew. There. Yeah. <laughs> Where was I? Before I was nearly killed. <sighs> yeah, got my adrenaline pumping there. For sure. Is that it? Was it just a dead end? A bunch of guys were just trapped in a, in a closet. Literally nothing there for me to get. No treasure. Not even worth my time. Okay. No, 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 nothing. Okay. Well. Cleared that out. Didn't help me any. But I cleared him out. Any more brood down here? I'm gonna take out all these friggin' brood. Cause they almost killed me too. They contributed to my near death. And they can die. And they can just die. No. Face that direction and then swing. There we go. I said, swing it. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go back upstairs and finish out the uh, all the available doors before we go down there again. <laughs> okay. So this this actually looks like a pretty small dungeon initially. Downstairs is a blocked off room that could lead to a, an entire series of tunnels. But I don't know about that yet. Uh. 
Ugh, these ticks are hard to hit with the hammer. That's that's a problem. That's a problem. They're really the hammer's really good on uh, on these seekers, but on those on those ticks, difficult. Difficult. No. Not again. It's the elevation. There, some of them are on some stairs. And so I can't hit them. I think I might be better off with the sword, honestly. I think the sword has a better range. Um, just heal up for a second. I like the Frostner. I really wish it was good for groups of things. Oh, oh I wish I didn't jump down the friggin' pit. Why does there always have to be a hole right at the beginning of every one of these bases? A hole that you can easily fall down into. Yeah, you die with with your buggy self. Hey, right. was there any reason to go in here? Mm -hmm. Nope. I check every wall. In case it's a, a secret wall. Yeah, see the sword took out those ticks real good. Real good. The hammer just doesn't have enough range. So. As soon as we get the new sword, the carapace sword, then uh, I'm probably not going to be using the Frostner for too much more. Well, I mean, it's one-on-one -on -one versus those Seeker soldiers. It seems to work pretty good. Just not in groups. In groups, it's, it's pretty terrible. What are you going to do? Turn around, buggy. Look the other way. You don't see what's coming. Yeah. Oh, there's a tick over there. There's a couple of them. There's a couple of ticks. Yes. You explode. Yes. That works for me. <laughs> Anything? Oh. And also taking out these eggs. And one more. I said one more. Okay. Guess what? We're gonna pull out the pickaxe. Bust out the pickaxe on these guys. Blech. That works too. <laughs> One way or another. Oh, I didn't realize I activated my bone mass accidentally. Um, and it's already over. That's okay. So turn around. Don't look at me. You don't see anything. Yes. Yes. Oh. 
Whoa, those friggin' ticks just jump at ya. Just jump. That guy didn't see me? Nope. Oh. Didn't see his own death. Okay. That works. That works. Hmm. It's narrow enough that you can't just walk right through it. You can jump, probably. You can't just walk, so that's why he couldn't get through. Um, nothing, 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 nothing. And in here? Nothing, nothing, and something? Something? Corridors. What is this? Is this a treasure room? Could it be? No, this is the entrance. While we're here, wait, so did it, is that place cleared out then or not? I gotta go back in there and look around, see if I got all the different rooms. Cause I, I think I may have either cleared out the entire thing or just gotten turned around. Hmm. So, hug the left wall. You want to make absolutely sure that you got every single nook, cranny, side room, bedroom, closet space. Just follow one of the walls until you end up back where you started. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's it. Okay. Downstairs. Our last hope. I really hope there's at least one core. I haven't found any so far. That would be a major bummer. We come in here and there's just nothing. No seal breakers, no cores. We're just gonna have to look again and try to find one that actually has stuff in it let's eat yep okay mm -hmm. what have we here oh there's there's some guys down there I could see what was down there. Okay. This the one? Is there another? This is not a door. There's some stairs leading up to it, but there's no door there. Nothing happens. Hmm. So there's a gate here. You can definitely open that. Um, what's in the bottom here? Oh, there's one more down there. Don't know what it is, but it's gonna be dead soon. Oh, that, that'll do it. That'll do it. Anymore. 
So far, this has just been collecting seeker drops. And, well, tick drops, too. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. No secrets. No treasure. That's for sure. Welp. It's a nut. Not a good sign, but we still have one more door. Not all hope is lost yet. Oh. Oh. Aha. Hidden door. Secret. Yeah, we got a core. We got one. So now we have a total of two. Total of two cores. I mean, eh. Really not, not great. Not great stuff to have in these treasure chests. Why? Why? Don't they have better food? Seal breaker in there. So, something. Something. Whoa. Okay. One of each. One of each thing that we need for game progression. But I don't remember exactly how many seal breakers we currently have. That's we don't have nine yet. So not a complete waste of time, but not super efficient use of our time either. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we are going to move on. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna... Yep. Grab our campfire and wood. Try to find another one. <laughs> What are you going to do? Uh, so uh, I'm just going to go down this coastline here. I might take out another gall if he's literally right outside and I can't avoid him. Is he... Is it nighttime too? Ugh. Ugh. See a seeker over there. I mean, okay, fine. I'll take the mage caps. I'll take them. Man, we are just right on the edge of being able to unlock the new technology. I am just dying to get there. Well, is that a bridge? It's a, it's a bridge ruin. I wish it would. I wish these bridges would like go somewhere, or at least span an entire gap so I can like get somewhere cool using them okay um like 
is there anything cool over here? Like, if uh, they had it so these ruined bridges would go from, like, a mainland to an island, and then on the island there was a, a tower or something, that would be cool. All right, Seeker. Okay. Just some Seekers out and about. And a bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Oh. Once they're in the water, I can't really get them. So, daylight now. That's why some of the mist has parted a little bit. Oh, I see some some stuff down here. I see some stuff down here, but do I want to go down here and find out what that is? That's a seeker soldier. Make sure I don't die here. I want these mandibles though. But I also don't want to be knocked way the heck away. Die now. Hmm. Inventory game. Oh, there is a mandible. I have to get it. I have to get that because that that is useful. All right. Sorry, Mage Cap. I bet your bad luck. <laughs> Again, I have a bunch of it. I can grow more. We're gonna make a. We're gonna make a farm. Just a standard ruin. Nothing cool. No dungeon. Yep. Okay, yeah, the sword. Definitely better. I mean, not perfect. But still, better. Ruins. Ooh, bones. Some bones. So, we'll mark the bones. And we'll watch out for any seekers that are about to attack me, because I heard some. So there should be a head nearby this, this rib cage. Underground. Again, I don't see it. There you are. There you are, oh dear. Oh, one star. 
Why are you, were you injured? Are there dwarves around here, maybe? Maybe there's some dwarves around here. We are somewhat nearby that uh, dwarf base. Again, this location looks very suspicious. But I just can't see anything until I'm right on top of it, as usual. So, okay, what is that to the south? Is that just planes? Is that planes? Oh man, don't tell me there's just planes there. Just plain planes. Oh, I hear a bug. What if we go over towards the, uh, the tower there? Yeah, let's head over towards the, the Dwarf Tower. Check them out. Say hello. They probably forgot about me. Probably still not mad at me. Yeah, they're they're fighting some uh, some seekers themselves. <laughs> Ow, they're they're mad at me still. I guess they're mad at me still, guys. <laughs> I thought they would have forgotten about me by now. But I was mistaken. Are you gonna fight me? Yes. I thought they'd be distracted, at least. Still mad at me. That's a shame. I wanted to be buds. But I needed your stuff. So, and you weren't going to give it to me. Let's be real. You were not going to give it to me. I'm hearing something. Dwarves? Words. Got him. And a mandible. I'll mark this armor because there's nothing else around it. I think there was a, a dwarf there that got killed. Um, unfortunately for them, I tried to help, but I was too late.
Yep, all their gold spilled out. I didn't know I had gold in my inventory. The Rigger Trophy? Oh, well, we're dropping that. <laughs> we're dropping the gold to get that trophy. So, I either need to find something or get the heck out of here. Is that a two star? Okay, just a regular. It looks it looks red like the two stars were. Okay. So this is a pretty big area of of Miss Lands. Don't see anything. Oh, one one star bunny. Got him. back here. <laughs> I'm gonna get that bunny. This, this bunny. I'm getting a bunch of regular bunnies. And this star bunny is just teasing me. I gotta get rested first. Cause there's still a gal somewhere around here. Of course. Dude, don't 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 tease me like that. Got you. Oh. These bunnies, dude. What these bunnies though? This is like the perfect spot to hunt them. Last chance for any cool buildings to appear right in front of me. This is last call. Because if not, I gotta get out of here. Real soon. I'm getting lots of stuff. Lots of resources, but not the ones that I need to progress. Unless this is something. Is that just a mountain or is that... Ooh, structure? What's this? What is this? Oh! Greetings. This is a, a live dwarf tower. Very nice. We don't have any stairs. There, it's just a building. No, oh, you do have stairs going down. So I could get another extractor. And I don't know if there's anything in these barrels or these boxes. Probably just um, black marble. But I can hang out here and, you know, hang with my bros. So, yeah. Here's the second dwarf base. I'm gonna mark this other dwarf base as completed because I took the stuff and this one still has stuff to take. Should I decide to take it. But that's not what I need. I need a dungeon. Until next time, okay? And I also want to find one that has 
that's infested so I can see if I can get this blue stuff. Uh, the blue jute, I think it's called. So we can make some blue rugs. Bone. There's bones. Okay. We got bones. Again, I don't I don't see a skull. Like I would like to think that I would notice if I saw a lamp like that one. Yeah, that's gone. Just a lamp. Just a lamp. Nothing more. Just so I know if I see this lamp in the distance through the fog, I already I already found that. There wasn't anything. Uh well there's still a delay. I tried the jumping technique. With uh quickly getting at your sword. Norseman. The Verger. Let's get rested, and then head up the mountain, because, uh, I don't see anything nearby. That could be... There's still a bit more... I haven't uncovered. A bit more of this, uh, mist lands. And then there's some over here, I think on this shore. This might be a big mist lands biome. I'm not sure. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to need to sail around the world and search every single mistlands out there to find what I'm looking for. Hey, Fenring. What are y'all doing here? Having fun? Chasing a ball? Having a ball. Okay. Okay. Let's go make some more food. With all the bunny meat we got. Okay, you know what? If we're not gonna be finding another dungeon, I'm gonna build a chicken coop. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. So I got my two eggs. Uh, I need wood or stone. Should I make it out of stone? I think I'm gonna make it out of stone. Where should I put it? That's the farm. So yeah, this is the only big open area I can I can make it in. So we'll we'll make the the chicken coop right here. So. I'll make a, a path down here. Yeah. So up here. Kind of flatten it, and then we'll make some stone things. So I'll put on my belt so I can carry all the stone. We got our 
Stone workbench. Right there. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Stone floor. Say. Starting here. Oops. Doesn't need to be huge. So maybe this is enough. Or maybe I'll go one more back here. Need a more stone. And then... Should I make the walls out of stone too? Or just the foundations again? Just like the template for my other stuff. Did I not make it level? I made it too low. How? How did I make it too low? Okay. Ah! It didn't match the level that I was at. Urgh. to be level with the stone. That'll have to do right here. That'll have to do right there. Like... I can walk... I can walk there without any trouble. That's what I wanted. Primarily, I wanted that. So... Um, so I wouldn't need any stairs. <laughs> now, That's a start. We got more stone in our uh, stone box. We got a lot of stone in here. Okay. Again, we just want to protect these guys. 
Many airborne enemies. Chickens are not... are too expensive to be... to let them be killed. Okay. We'll put our corner pillars. Then Okay. And um you can just put a regular door. It doesn't have to be a fancy door. I can still make it out of stone, but I don't know if I want to put like a fancy roof on it and stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Because what we're going to do, we're going to put a campfire in the very center. So that the the chickens will be warm. Cause we do want the chickens to hatch. And they can only hatch if they're warm. So we need to put a fire in the center. Let's protect them from the fire so they don't walk into it. There we go. And then we will just make a wall. Make a roof so that they're enclosed. We also need to make a little chimney for the, the fire. And then we'll put, once the, uh, the chickens hatch, we'll put like seeds. So we'll need to make seeds for stuff. Like seed carrots, seed turnips. And then they can eat those seeds. Pretty sure that's all they eat though. I don't think they eat, like, mushrooms. So we'll need to figure out a chicken feed. There's still room in the farm. We're not using it entirely. And I think I still have turnip seeds at old base. So we might use those. We might just use those. Um, I'm out of wood though. So that's not ideal. Well, this is a start. I think I can put them in there. Do, do I, um... Put them down. Egg on what? Do I just like <laughs> toss them? Toss the egg near a fire? 
Too cold. Warm. Warm. Okay, eggs are warm. Eggs are warm. Smell of sulfur in the air. Uh oh. I think we might be okay. What is that? What is the sulfur one? Oh, that's certlings. Certlings. Certainly, certlings. So, we don't got anything to worry about from certlings. They're not airborne. <laughs> I swear, if we were about to get attacked by something airborne and my, my eggs that I just sat down were to start <laughs> getting killed, I'd be so mad. I'm not even rested right now, though. Hold on. Yeah, we're good. There's nothing they can do. Except kill all the enemies in the in the forest. Kill all the... the pigs and such. <laughs> and they're doing that. They're certainly doing that. <laughs> They're, they're shooting at my wall, though. I don't like that very much. Oh. The smell is fading. Uh, but I can't get up. Well, we react too slowly, even. I think the... The gray doors may have finished off the certlings. Already. Well, that was nothing. But hey, we definitely confirmed that our base is basically, basically, uh, safe from ground based enemies like the Certlings, even though they can shoot. They can shoot flames out, but all they're going to see is stone wall, so they probably won't attack the stone. Y'all still good? Warm egg. Warm egg. Okay. We'll uh, make some these 26 degree ones now. Oops. Whoops. There was something in my way. a roof ridge that actually fits in the very center between two roof pieces. Can I do that? There we go. 
Sometimes putting on the roof ridges is really difficult to get it to snap properly. So... The problem is... Now it's gonna be real smoky right here. Unless I make a chimney of some kind. So we'll uh, do the same thing that we did in the, the main hall. Just kind of like... Put some posts. Daytime. Okay. And then we'll put some more of these roof ridges. On top. Kind of like, well, <laughs> put some trim down to make it look a little nicer. Because our chickens need to have a stylish coop. I don't think any enemies can get in. through here. And then... You want to make sure that no death mosquitoes can get in through the sides. Or bats, for that matter. <laughs> bats have killed so many of my tamed animals over the... The time I've been playing this game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Cross. Roof cross. Nice. And then. I could put this a metal wall. Just need some copper. Or some iron. Cage wall. Or some uh, fine wooden tar. I don't know if I want to spend that much on a chicken coop. Or even some actual crystal windows. Although this this looks uh, pretty cool. Let's let's do that. Let's get some copper and uh, build this diverger metal wall. Cause at least with uh, copper, we got copper. Copper is not something I'm worried about <laughs> at all. Let's see how this looks. Whoa. Shiny. Black Forge. Wow, that is cool. <laughs> and this is for my chicken coop. They deserve it. They haven't hatched yet. So what I think I'm gonna do, actually, grab some, grab some of this uh, stone. I'm going to make a
a raised up um, door so that they cannot get out but I can get in yeah look at that so I can still open the door check on them but if I do they will not escape immediately <laughs> perfect here we go so yeah chickens will not be able to in lane chickens will not be able to uh, to walk up this high of a stone. So, I won't need to worry about them getting out when I go check in. Check on them. Yeah. I think they eat dandelion now that I, now that I think about it. I'll, I'll put that there and see if that disappears. I don't know when they're gonna hatch. They are warm, so they should hatch. I just don't know if that'll be anytime soon. Let's do the same thing on the other side with our, uh, the Burger Gate. Because <laughs> that way they are definitely protected. And, uh, I, I don't think that keeps the smoke in. I don't think I need to worry about that. I need two more copper to enclose the other side. Copper, copper. Good. I'd rather use copper than iron. Because copper we can get relatively easy. Yeah, and that looks good. Look at it. That looks, look how nice that looks, man. And, um, put another roof cross on there. Chicken coop. Yes. Make sure there's plenty of firewood. Um, oh, we're out of wood now. <laughs> I wanted to put some trim on the bottom of this window piece, but... Honestly, maybe I don't need these wooden blocks anymore. Maybe I don't need those anymore. Maybe those are not necessary. Maybe I should go around and make stone ones instead. But for now, we don't need them. Don't need them. Green beam. Boom. Can I still walk through? I cannot. Why? Can I make this, like, a little higher? <laughs> I can. What if I do that? How far is that sticking out? <laughs> well, that doesn't look too bad. Honestly. Can I still walk through? Yes. Okay, we'll do that. That looks cool. It's kind of like an overhang piece of wood. I don't know if we need the trim on the other side. Yeah, we don't. 
We don't need that trim there. We'll be good. Maybe. Can make some um, poles though, right here. If you're gonna do it, might as well do it right. There. Chicken cooped. Now, hatch. Darn it. I got two dandelions. I'm pretty sure they will eat dandelions. Now that I think about it. Because those diverger gates, now that I see them, I'm kind of like, well, maybe I should put those in the production area, too. Maybe they should go there. It's a little smoky at the top, but I think we're, I think we're fine. I'm standing here and I'm not getting smoked. So maybe it can't get out well enough with these um, roof ridges on top. So perhaps I will need to do something different. Perhaps I will need to make um, some longer ones on one side. And just make a roof. Some roof piece. What angle is this, though? <laughs> is this 26 degrees? Yeah, that looks right. What if I do that? Will that allow more smoke out? I kind of don't like how the angled wood um, trim pieces are like a different shape and size than the horizontal and vertical ones. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> There. Now we got smoke coming up through the top. If I stand here, I'm, I'm smoked. Which means there's less smoke inside here. Yes. Mm hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Um. Whatever. Can I make. <laughs> Trim pieces inside? Dude. Whoop. Whoop. I punched. I punched something. It's good enough. I'm not gonna do anything else. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother doing anything else there. But yeah. Chicken coop looks great. There's plenty of room in there. Um, I can open the door and throw in food. And, um... They'll just make more eggs, and those eggs will hatch, and then they'll turn into chickens, and then we can make chicken food. That's gonna do it for today. So today we looked around in the mistlands surrounding the motor location, and we found the one dungeon previously, but it only had one additional core, black core in it. And I, I just haven't found another infested mine in the mistlands yet they are difficult to find in the best of circumstances but um, in this particular location i've been searching in they're they're just very rare i'm gonna have to look somewhere else probably we are very close to being able to craft all of the the new armor and the new weapons but we need an it refinery which we can't make until we have five cores we have two, we need three more. So, in the next episode, we are going to go somewhere else that is Mistlands, and we're going to go search it. 
until we find another dungeon. If you'd like to follow along in our adventure and see how long it takes me to find enough black cores to, to make the I tier refinery, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to make a comment down below or hit the like button, that would be appreciated as well. So until next time, thanks for watching.